from time to time, I go to a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I enjoy my meal there. Whenever I go to a Chinese restaurant, I'm given a fortune cookie. Then I read fortune telling. It gives me a kind of prediction of my future. It is usually good, right? So I enjoy reading the fortune telling of the fortune cookies. This morning, I would like to share some bloopers in the fortune cookies. Let us see the screen. The end is near. <laughs> and it is all your fault. The fortune you seek is in another cookie. Confucius say, if you think we are going to sum up your whole life on this little bit of paper, you are crazy. <laughs> you will read this and say, geez, I could come up with better fortunes than that. Okay. That wasn't chicken. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Fortune telling is kind of practice of predicting the future. There are many ways for fortune telling. Palm reading, astrology, tarot card reading, or going to psychics. Fortune tellers are mediums between the human world and the spirit world. Therefore, some people go to fortune tellers and ask for guidance. King Saul knew that fortune telling or witchcraft is wrong. He knew that it is totally against the authority of God. He himself had made it illegal. Yet when Saul saw his enemies, he was terrified. And so Saul cried out, I don't have anyone else to turn to. Samuel, please tell me what should I do? So King Saul went to the psychic and summoned up the ghost of Samuel. Like King Saul, when life gets tough, some people go to fortune tellers or psychics to solve their problems because of they believe that fortune telling gives them some answers, but the fortune telling is very quick and very easy answers for life. What does the Bible tell us? about the fortune telling. Let us see the screen. Uh, Deuteronomy. Let no one be found among you who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or who is in medium or a spiritist or consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord, and because of these detestable practices, the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you. Let us read another scripture, please, Isaiah. When men tell you to consult mediums and spiritists who whisper and mutter, should not people inquire of their God? Why consult the dead on behalf of the living? Why consult the dead on behalf of the living? That is to say, we are the living. Why do we need wisdom from the dead? They are in another world. If you have your beloved ones in another world, you can give respect to them, you can remember them in your heart, but you don't have to get wisdom from them. 
Most of all, God is in charge of life. God is the creator, sustainer, and God controls the world and life. So we need help from our living God, not from the dead. In this sense, fortune telling is against God's authority in life. Have you ever seen the film Ghostbuster? Is a 1984 American comedy film, Ghostbusters. In the film, parapsychologist established paranormal exterminator service, Ghostbusters. There were many evil spirits in the city, so the Ghostbusters were hired to repel the bad spirits. They were successful, so the city came to find peace again. Even though the film portrays the ghost in a comic way, it represents the reality of the world well. Conflict between bad and good. Conflict between evil spirits and good spirits. We need to expel bad spirits. We need the true Ghost Buster, Jesus Christ. We already know there is an answer for problems in life. The answer is so simple that sometimes we overlook it. The answer is well written in the old hymn, Trust and Obey. Trust the goodness of your God and obey his words. Life is oftentimes shaky. At times we feel like our world is falling apart, but trust and obey. We have our loved ones who are struggling, but trust and obey. Sometimes we experience our relations are broken, but trust and obey. We walk through the valley of the death, but trust and obey. Jesus is the Lord of life and death. Trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Amen.